Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how we set up Python for different purposes. By the end of the video, you'll be able to create virtual environment for different projects, create buttons to access different Python code platforms, and preview your code instantly with Streamlit. Let's dive in. Here I simply open up a browser and Google Python to bring up the Python page. Just click inside, look up for the Windows section of Downloads, and double click to download the installer. I have a 64 bit Windows, so I get the 64 bit installer. Once it's done, open the folder and you should see the installer in your downloads folder. Double click it, add the Pivens path and hit customize installation. Usually I'll leave the optional features there. Hit next and hit browse to point the Python to our desired location. That will be the folder that holds all our Python files. Okay, now I'm installing to the PY38 folder. It's gonna take quite a while. Sit back and relax. Now we're done. Usually, I'll go to command prompt to check whether the installation is okay. Here we go. Let me exit the command prompt and move on. In order to create a virtual environment, we open up the command prompt again and use the built-in Winf module to create the environment in the destination folder. Here my environment is saved in a newly created folder called my tray. Hit enter and the my tray environment is create. Let me navigate to it and go to the scripts folder inside then activate the environment. Here I type pip list to list out all the available Python packages in the my tray environment. It's gonna take quite a few time to load for the first time. Now, you can see that I only have two packages in this environment. So let's hit install JupyterLab. It's great for doing code demos and math tutorials. All right. Let me create a Jupyter Notebook folder in my D drive called Jupyter Notebook. There we go. Now let's activate the MyTray environment and create a Jupyter Notebook in the Jupyter Notebook folder. Here let's open up the Jupyter Notebook server. For the first time, it's gonna take quite a while. Alright, let's open up a blank notebook and type some code here. Hit shift enter to run the code. We can also change the notebook name by rename notebook. When we go back to the Jupyter Notebook folder, we'll see the rename notebook. Now we can close the Jupyter Notebook. Hit shut down. Close the browser and hit Ctrl C to shut down the command prompt. Deactivate the environment and exit. We don't want to go to command prompt every time we need to open Jupyter Notebook. So we just create a button using a .bat file. After the echo of decorator, simply cmd slash k and double quote and type the normal command that you do in the command prompt. Here we know that our environment is my tray. So this is the path of our environment separate with the end and activate just like we did in command prompt. Then we navigate to the Jupyter Notebook folder. Run 
the JupyterLab command and run server. Save as a .bat file, give it a name and hit save. Do remember to add .bat at the end. When we double click the .bat file, we'll head straight to the Jupyter Notebook server. And now we can start coding. Now let's download Sublime Text Tree. Simply go to Downloads page and select the portable version for 64-bit Windows. When the download is done, open that up. In the Downloads folder, right-click and extract all. Here, I just extract it to the Downloads folder. And then cut and paste it to my destination folder, D drive. Click inside and double click the execute file to open. Let's type some Python code and save as a Python file. Now we create a build file to point to our virtual environment. Here we can use JSON to create our build. These are the codes that are commonly used. We only need to change the CMD to point to the virtual environment's path. Now we can save the build file. Just name it my trait. You may have your own name instead. Let's get back to our Python file. Tools, build system, and that's our create build. We are now running in our build. Tools again, control B to run our Python code, and you should see the result underneath. Let's change our code and run. You should see the change here. Here we can install package in Sublime Text. Once it's done, Control Shift P again and hit package control. Control Shift P to open control palette. Here we install the build wheel package so that we can move the result left and right. Run Alt Shift to to add a split in the middle. Run the Python code, and you'll see this on the right. Let's go back to command prompt and activate our virtual environment. Then pip install streamlit. Now we can deactivate and exit. Here we duplicate the run JupyterLab batch file and rename it as run streamlit.bat. We can just edit this file to point to whatever Python file in the Jupyter Notebook folder that we create. Let's copy the file name.
and change the destination file inside the Jupyter Notebook folder. Save it and double click it to open up the Streamlist server. Simply hit enter to proceed and wait for the browser to load. Let's open Sublime Text while waiting. Here we can try some code and run it on the Streamlit server. Click Always Rerun so we can see the output of our code instantly. There we go. Let's try another code. Yeah. Now let's Ctrl C to close the Streamlit server, deactivate and exit the command prompt. 